scientific boxer. You know, I'm a thinking boxer. All cute moves, leg movement, hip movement, the spins. I got it all. At first, I wasn't worried about, you know, flash or trying to come in the box and make a name for myself. Now I feel the pressure. I'm getting older, 26. The 30s is when you start thinking about retirement. So I feel the pressure now. I want to prove. I want to come out my last season and have a name for myself. So I do feel a lot of pressure. In this corner, a legendary Hall of Fame boxer with the talent to both frustrate opponents and rile up boxing fans. In the other, a young man he molds in his image, good and bad. Hector been around me for years. Great pupil. He learned all the good stuff. Some of the bad stuff too. But he's doing very well, proud of him. They have a really close relationship, they always have. And uh, they, they do admire each other. Lisa, the Camacho manager, is in a unique position to see just how similar and different these fighters can be. Hector Sr. is, well, he's older and he's, more, he's had a, more fights than Junior has. He's had a lot harder fights than Junior has. And he's more disciplined as far as the gym is concerned. Junior is more disciplined as far as his life is concerned. House is a mess. Here's the mess, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, <laughs> fighters here. That's Hector Macho Camacho, a good father, mentor, trainer of his son. But he's also a mischievous guy whose antics in and out of the ring bring him the classic booze that followed him his whole career. But it's an amazing career in which he fought the best of the best and beat most of them, too. Macho says it's a well-kept secret. I'm the only one in boxing history with nine world titles and as quiet as it kept. Why? Because I have antics out of the ring too. The bad boy rap image that, they have, that he has is somewhat warranted, but not to that extent. Outside the ring, he doesn't get into fights with anyone. Someone would have to hit him for him to get into a fight. Never, that never happens. He never does anything to anyone else. Any time time he's ever gotten in trouble for anything, it's always something he did to himself. Usually it's running red lights, things like along those lines. He thinks the traffic lights don't apply to him or something to that effect. Macho time. Everything's macho time. I don't regret it, you know. I know what I did. I know my mistake. Am I going to worry about how people are going to portray me, respect me? I mean, they all respect me when they see me. They know I'm a humble character. But those who don't know him would never use the words humble and macho in the same sentence. They see Macho's antics in the ring as disrespectful. Some in the media accuse Macho of dodging his opponents in the ring. But Lisa says it's all by design. It's smart for him. He's a boxer. He's not a puncher. Punchers and boxers, they'll stand toe-to-toe -to -toe and bloody themselves to death. Hector's a, a, a boxer. And he hits, moves, stick and move, stick and move. And if you can't hit him, you can't win the fight. Lisa says the media hardly reports on Macho's charitable side or on how he never refuses a fan's autograph, even when he has a flight to make. And I'm going, Hector, we're running out of time, Hector, we're going to miss our plane. And it's the scout master saying, okay, kids, sorry. And Hector says, no, no, there's a couple of boys that didn't get an autograph. Yet sometimes the fans can be relentless and the routine can be tiring to fighters in training who are often not eating to make sure they make weight. You got to appreciate them. They won't buy the tickets. They make you who you are, not the fan of the public. Basically, you're just doing this sport for nothing. So then I gotta take time out and speak to the fans. I mean, that's my job. Do I love doing it? So so. I wanna focus in. Like his father, Hector's learned to appreciate the fans but not let him run his life. He doesn't count on their approval to be happy. However, they wanna take it, their opinion, I respect it. As long as I'm proud of it, my family's happy, and I accomplish my goal, doesn't mind what they say. And for now, he's savoring the chance to work the crowds along with his father. I mean, it's magic for us, man. We, my own with father, father's with me. We feel good with each other. We just go out there and promote. That just be us. That just be the Camacho. That's what we do. And the people accept it, so we give it to them. <laughs>